Hey, I'm at the Cheese Barn in Gasville, Arkansas with Jamie, and we are at the refrigerator, and we've got about 40 feet of cheeses. Like 70 different kinds of cheeses. Well, let's start over here on the right-hand side. Beer case cheese, longhorn cheddar, sliced kojak cheese. Tell us about some of these. Oh, the beer cheese is very strong. Um, and it smells really bad when you cu cut it up, but it's it's surprisingly really good. Uh, we've got some beer cheese recipes that we've been passing out to people. Um, one of my favorite things so far is the blueberry cheddar. I made a cheese Danish out of that, and it was really good. The words I'm not seeing it. We're that point. is right here. We've started buying it in bulk so that we blueberry cheddar. Yep. Do it, sell it in half pounds, and so the price is lower too. I'm seeing yogurt, cultured cheese, yeah, the, Monterey Jack. Yeah, the yogurt cheese, that's supposed to be like if you're for anyone on a diet. Mm -hmm. Kind of healthier cheese, I guess. I have yet to try it yet, but it sells pretty good, so it must be pretty good for diet cheese. The <laughs> Amish Vidalia onion cheese sounds good. That's one of our best sellers. It, we put it on the shelves, and it's gone really fast. And the, what other one was it like that? We had the, oh, the chocolate cheese. Chocolate That's another cheese. kind of specialty wow. one that it goes pretty good. We have it with and without nuts. And I think our best selling cheeses are the habanero, jalapeno, yeah. anything, and like the bacon cheese. Really? Where's it? It's right here. And we bought it in bulk too so that the price is lower now. We just package it ourselves, slice it and package it. Um, and it, it, the, we're starting to change everything over to bulk so that the prices are lower. Let's look at some of these shredded cheese. you got pizza blend, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, mozzarella. And that pizza blend is very yummy. It it's good. good. The cheese curds, we have garlic and dill, which sounds crazy, but it's delicious. We have yellow, white, hot pepper, ranch, Cajun. I think that was all. <laughs> I know I'm probably missing one, though. We've got so many. And we're starting to get those um, in bulk, too. And I think maybe our craziest cheese is this red wine and cheddar that we get um, from Jim's. And it's all red and yeah. white. It's really pretty, but it's... Who would have thought? <laughs> red wine and cheddar cheese. But it's, it's pretty good. I put that in the cheese danish with the blueberry cheddar. Yeah, yeah. It was really good. Now tell me about the marble cheese. That's my favorite. Really? <laughs> that is my favorite. My kid's favorite. Um, I buy that by like six pounds at a time really? <laughs> and bring it home. And it's so good. Um, let's see. Another one we sell really good is the smoked provolone. I bet, yeah. Everybody really likes it. It makes super good grilled cheese sandwiches. And the goat cheeses, they go pretty fast. And I, I got some of the garlic and herb goat cheese and made Alfredo with it. Oh, wow. And yeah. everyone who ate it said it was the best Alfredo they have ever eaten. And it was just so easy. I cheated, though, and I started with a jar of sauce and added to it. And I felt great because everybody said it was the best they'd ever eaten, and it came from a jar. <laughs> now, that noise you're hearing in the background, folks, that's the refrigeration unit running on this. This thing's, what, about 40 feet long, 20 feet long? How long is this thing? A big oh, refrigerator just know. lined with cheeses. 30 feet long. 30 feet long. There mm -hmm. you go. And here's some more. Here's mozzarella. Here's Pine River Swiss and almond, spicy beer, smoky bacon flavor. Jalapeno, you just the Pine River cheeses. The cheese spreads, those sell really fast too. And they are, I haven't tried all of them yet, but the ones I have tried are delicious. And we have the crackers that you put them on, and then we have Neighbor's Mill bread that you spread them on. And oh my gosh, they're so good. Here comes the stampede. Yeah, come on, bring it on. <laughs> Let's look at these pepper string cheeses, smoked string, plain string cheese. What is string cheese? String cheese, that's like just cheese sticks that just pulls apart really easily. And the smoked is probably the best seller. It is so good. Um, everybody really loves it. Ooh, there's some hickory smoked cheddar. Oh, that's good. That makes really good grilled cheese sandwiches, too. And this ghost cheese, they use that down the road at... Um, Freeze King really? and make ghost cheeseburgers, ghost pepper cheeseburgers or whatever they call it. But they, I guess it's really good too. They're always selling those. Okay, explain those hoop cheddar. You know, 
I am not sh- I haven't figured out hoop cheddar yet, <laughs> but we have eaten it, and it is delicious. I'm not sure what. Is that an American cheese base? It's cheddar. Cheddar. And it's got red wax. It, it has a very good flavor. Um, we made grilled cheese. We, we eat a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches around here. <laughs> I wonder um, why. I know we just neighbors no, mill neighbors mill bread and forty feet of, thirty feet of cheeses here. Yeah, and we also sell a lot of the feta crumbles and the blue cheese wedges. Oh yeah, those go really fast. I think our two best sellers out of the cases, the refrigerator case, is probably the hard salami and the butter. Oh yeah, the butter. We have to reorder that every single week. People okay, let's talk. In. You've got roll butter here. Explain that to me. That is Amish roll butter, and it is the best butter you will ever eat. It's when you make... The real, genuine butter. Real, gen- They hand churns that, I'm oh. guessing. I'm picturing a little old lady, you know, oh. churning the butter for an hour, but it tastes like it anyway. It's, is that good for baking, like when Christmas rolls around mm, and things? It's good. I have... When we have to use regular butter at home now... We are sad. <laughs> we want to come down here to Gasville and get another thing and bring it home. Mm-hmm. We just don't run out. It's I bake with it. I grease my pans with it. I put it on top of the mashed potatoes, Ooh, put it on toast, yeah. biscuits. I mean, the flavor is the best. I bet it is. What about the cream cheese? I miss the cream cheese here. Oh, it's pr- I use that with the goat cheese in my Alfredo, and it was so good. It's it's really really creamy, like different from the store brands that you go buy at Walmart. It's it's like a little richer. Now all the meats we got jalapeno cheddar. What is this uh, summer sausage? Yes, and we were just hang- having a conversation. As not much of a beef jerky eater, it all looks the same to me. But I know there's probably 20 different kinds up here, and I think my favorite is maybe the spicy beef sticks yeah they're they're not too spicy but they got a little bit so little it's bit good yes good. and then we also i think the best selling maybe is the pit smoked summer sausage it goes out off the shelf fast as we can get it on it and it's I bet really my good. son would enjoy the jalapeno cheddar smoked summer sausage mm, it, yeah it's good we have the crackers and the cheese to go with it there you go we've got mustard for it if you like mustard on it we got everything oh yeah now we have jellies I think... And my phone's going off. Let me shut my phone <laughs> off here. I'll just mute that. Hey, royalties on that song there. I think maybe the best-selling jelly is probably the peach jalapeno. And it sounds like such a crazy combination, but it is good. And then after that, maybe the traffic jam or the triple berry. Those both go really fast. And always, the preserves always, oh, sure. always I'm seeing fast. strawberry, lemon marmalade, apricot jam, peach butter, we strawberry butter. Probably six different kinds of butter. Cherry, strawberry, rhubarb, blueberry, blackberry, peach. And they are, they're so creamy and so rich. It's delicious. We have a lot, several different kinds of apple butter, too, and pumpkin butter. I love apple butter. It's so good. And it's so much healthier. I, I put that on my kids' pancakes, mm-hmm. on biscuits, everything. I love it on biscuits. They love it. Well, I want to ask you about the brand name. It says Amish Wedding. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. That's just. It's from Ohio, the Amish country. Uh, we get all of our jar goods from the Amish. They they process it, pack, make it, package it, everything, and ship it out to us. And I literally have not tried a single thing that wasn't good. <laughs> Ooh, and cherry jam. I don't think I've ever tasted cherry jam. <sighs> That goes really good. fast, too. It's then we have red good. raspberry, blueberry jam, strawberry jam. There's your peach jalapeno. Mm-hmm. We even have mint jelly. I had never. We have jalapeno jelly. There's just about any kind of jelly you could ever possibly want is on these shelves. Unbelievable choice here, folks. Mm-hmm. I think maybe the strawberry preserves go the fastest. Yeah. They yeah. are just delicious. But what do we have down here on these shelves down here? These jar goods are all like the vegetables, pickles, sauerkraut. We have like homemade sauerkraut that's, oh my God, good. Um, We have pickled okra, hot okra. We have pickled asparagus. It's delicious. Um, We just got in hot pepper mix and mild pepper mix. And it looks a little bit like relish. I really am anxious to try it on a hot dog. I think it's going to be good. Um, we have horseradish pickles, we have pickled baby beets, pickled beet eggs, jalapeno eggs, pickled eggs, and 
I can't like there is so much to list. There's probably four kinds of barbecue sauce, four kinds of salsa. I think the best one on the salsa is maybe the peach salsa. And that stuff, we have to reorder it every week. It just goes so fast. Um, I think you just had a customer walk in. We may, Do we need to hit pause? No. no we're, we're okay? Good. All right. We're good. All right. It's uh, always good to have customers walk through the door. Yes, we love I'm it. seeing <laughs> sweet pickle relish, red sweet pepper relish. That sounds good. I, know. I haven't tried the red sweet pepper relish yet, and I'm, I'm curious. It, it's new to me. And I also i am curious about the pickled garlic. We have hot pickled garlic and then sweet pickled garlic. I really want to cook with that and see how it is. I haven't gotten to yet, but it looks delicious. Ooh, old-fashioned horseradish pickles. Mm -hmm. They are good. They are good. And we have the southern hot and mild chow chow, and it's a little bit like pickle relish. Um, It's really good on hot dogs and everything like that. That's maybe started out being one of our best sellers um i think maybe now the peach salsa is up there it's beating it and we have spiced peaches that's our best selling peaches as the shelf is empty as you can see we we sell out of that that. yeah Yeah. and we now have the the little tiny pickled corn dillies and they're those little tiny corn thingies you see in the chinese restaurants Mm -hmm. they're Mm -hmm. tiny little corns and they are so my kids love them they look good. They are so yummy. We also have the Amish noodles, and they, they make these noodles. Really? We have vegetable mix. We have spinach. We have garlic parsley, tomato basil, fine, medium, wide, and they are very good. So yummy, and it's, like, it's real noodles when you're eating it and cooking it. You know, you can tell it's real. We also have... For a lot of people, you know, now they have the, they need gluten free. Mm-hmm. There's several kinds of gluten free, and we have high fiber noodles, and they they really are so good when you cook them. And back behind us, we have some ciders. This is one of my favorite sections of the store. We have the ciders. We have blackberry, apple, red raspberry, peach, and cherry. The peach is probably peach goes fast. Um, but we also have several different kinds of maple syrups and then pure maple syrup that is, I mean, worth its weight in gold. It's so good. And honey and peanut butter spread? Mm-hmm. We The peanut butter spread, it's kind of, it's really good. It has a different texture a little bit than regular peanut butter. It's, it's creamier, hmm. but it has such good flavor. Um, the honey, we have a, the honey bears and then we have a jar. And let me see where this jar of honey from. It's out of Ava, Illinois. So it's semi-local, you know. Not too far A few away. hours away. Uh, Hot poly sausage and jars. Oh, and it's good. With crackers and mustard on it, it is amazing. And cool. the mustards we have are roasted garlic, sweet mustard. We have hot jalapeno mustard. We have honey mustard and deli-style mustard. We have wasabi sauce, and I'm not sure what that is. It's green, but <laughs> my to try. yeah, my uncle loves it. I, yeah. And the smoky horseradish, that's pretty good too. We're at the Cheese Barn in Gasville. I'm speaking with Jamie, and I want to invite all Mountain Talk listeners to come on out to the Cheese Barn on Highway 62 Business, right on the highway. Can't miss them. Big open fl- banner flying. You can see it out there on the highway. Come on out and say, hey, I'm a Mountain Talk listener. I want to see what you've got in the way of cheeses and everything else here at the Cheese Barn. And if we don't already have it, we can usually find stuff that people request and order it in. Sounds good. Jamie, thanks. I appreciate the tour. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. And we're back live, and I want to tell you, it was uh, quite an experience to go to the Cheese Barn. I want to invite Mountain Talk listeners. You know, if you're going through Mountain Home, Gasville, perhaps on your way to Harrison, Take the time to stop at the Cheese Barn. I was so impressed with everything they have to offer out there at the Cheese Barn. Just one entire wall of jellies and jams, and then they have the Amish butters, and they have all kinds of, so many varieties of cheeses. We couldn't get it all uh, talked about in a 14-minute interview. But the Cheese Barn, Highway 62 business, on the, if you're going from Mountain Home, it's on the left, coming through Gasville from uh, Cotter, it's on the right-hand side of the road. 
And uh, tell them your Mountain Talk listeners, say, hey, I heard Jamie on the radio today, and I want to check out what you've got. And, uh, wow, I was impressed. The Cheese Barn in Gasville. Thanks for the interview, interview, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> 